Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, your virtual piano teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of this channel. I'm leaving the link in the description of this video, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel Gianluca Fronda, pianist and composer, if you're interested in original music and covers. Talking about this channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know about yourself uh, by commenting, tell me when uh, you have started, if you are finding my channel interesting and you are improving your skills also thanks to my videos. And don't forget also to share with your friends if there is anybody interesting in piano music, any that, anybody that you know. So now time to go to our lesson. Today I want to play for you School Days, that is the very first piece on page 4 of John Thompson's Sissy's Piano Course Part 2. I, at the beginning, when I started recording the pieces, um, from the part two I skipped uh, school days because I thought that this one obviously is the first very important one that you need where there's a big change if you have uh, obviously if you are here and you have uh, never tried to play, play playing tag uh, you have no idea of the big news that you're going to face but anyways today we have to talk about school days it is a simple review, it's about all you have learned in Thompson part 1, that's why then I decided to skip, because I didn't consider that important and mandatory at that moment. In Thompson part 1 you have played 5 notes with the left hand, from the C going down to the F, and 5 notes with the right, from C to the right. Obviously saying 5 and 5 you might think that they are 10 notes, but they are 9, because the C is in common, played by both thumbs, so at this point really you should know everything. You simply place the hand in Thompson part 1 position and there is nothing strange, nothing atypical, nothing unusual. Let me play first of all at fast speed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I don't want to talk about the technical problems of the piece because really you should know everything. You start from the F, that is the last note you learned in Thompson part 1, you played in uh, about three pieces, something like that. I know that it's quite new, it's quite uncomfortable the little finger, but try to work hard to empower the strength of the little finger. And then the other notes as follow. All the notes value that you've learned in Thompson part 1, the four counts notes, the three counts notes, the two counts and one count notes. It is obvious, before I start playing it slower, one thing that I want you to understand that is very important that you memorize as much as you can the position of the notes. Try to develop the photographic memory because you have no idea now from uh, the next one how many things are going to change. And please be advised, in few lessons you will have to move the position of the hand. What was valid until today, what have you done, you have done until today, I mean keeping the hands, both hands, in the same identical position will definitely be changed, because it's time to move on to play more keys. You know that we have 88 keys on the um, big uh, keyboard, on the big digital piano. You might have the 61 keys keyboard, but anyways, even 61 are more than the nine keys that you have just played. So be ready, because big changes are coming ahead. So be simply ready. And to be ready, what do you have to do? You have to simply memorize the notes in the way they are here. F on the fourth line of the bass clef stave, G in the fourth space, A on the fifth, and so on. Memorize, take a picture. You have to really develop the photographic memory, yeah? Okay, this is my last advice before I play it again slowly. One, two, three, four.
stop. So I think that there is nothing special that has to be clarified um, regarding uh, school days. I've told you everything also about the importance of memorizing the notes. Um, be really careful. Develop the photographic memory. It will definitely turn useful. Yeah. So, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me by commenting. If it's the first time you're landing on my channel, thanks to this video, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.